their God. He will bless their bread and their water. There will be none barren among them. Teach them! Teach them that the Christians cannot go to funerals and drink Guinness and drink beer and drink vodka and drink gin and drink whiskey and drink brandy and then come back to church and pray la 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 basha as if nothing has happened. Teach them! Teach them! <laughs> all right. Uh, that's all. That's all. Yeah. So, you want more? <laughs> Uh, so yeah. I think essentially um, what I got from that is there's a link between spirituality and development of a country. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and so today we are going to look at spiritual leaders in national development, mm -hmm. spiritual leaders in national development. I think from what he was saying, he was saying that if people are able to serve God well, then their bread will be blessed and so on. The country will be blessed and so on. Um, so today our topic is spiritual leaders in national development there are some who think that i mean we don't need any input from spiritual leaders the nation can move on if we are practical about certain things and some also say that um, spiritual leaders are needed for national development but to make sure that we are all on the same page i went to do a little research on national development and this is what i found online the national development has to do with sustainable economic growth and stability infrastructure development access to quality education, health care services, good governance, and rule of law, and so on. So this is the context of our discussion today. Spiritual leaders in national development. But today I want to hear from KB first. <laughs> Should, KB, well, or let me throw it to everybody. Do you, do you guys think that spiritual leaders should be involved in uh, national development? Or should they just focus on spiritual matters? Now, I'm asking this because some time ago, I was making some posts on Facebook, social media. And somebody made a statement. He said, Apostle Francis, you're a pastor. Focus on spiritual matters. Leave national issues alone. Mm -hmm. So w what do you guys think? Should spiritual leaders get involved in national development issues? Or should they focus only on spiritual matters? <laughs> ah, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, interesting. <laughs> well, um, uh, <clears throat> so spiritual leadership. So I'll start with leadership. Leadership is, of course, you know, is it influence? Influence, yes. Yeah, influence. So national development, every country, every nation, every Speaking state. Speaking the mic. Every yeah. National development, every station, every, every, every nation has a vision. It's interesting in Ghana, I don't know how our national developmental uh, plan is going, but as for um, an end point or an end game. So what most nations have observed do is anything that will add up to that equation to let them get there, they will do it. If it has to be propaganda, if it has to be a strong military, if it has to be economic, it has to be social, moral, educational. So if spiritual leaders find themselves as a contributory factor in national development, then why not? So it means that because there's an end game, the type of spirituality, the type of leadership spiritual people give is also key. Otherwise, if it's not the type of leadership that will take us to the end goal, mm -hmm. then in that, in that uh, sphere, I agree with those who feel then they won't matter. Mm -hmm. So if their leadership won't retrogress us, mm -hmm. fine. If it will, mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. If it is teachers, if it is politicians, if it is chiefs, anybody, any set, any group, any form of leadership that will bring the retrogression or will not will aim or uh, impede that national agenda or that national goal, they have to be set aside, mm. regardless of what they, s they pretend to bring. Mm. Because one of the reasons a lot of people push for amendment of our constitution is there are certain clauses that has a lot of flaws. Mm. The clause with flaws, bars. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so we seek to amend. I give up on so you. So <laughs> what? I give up. Still the black. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we are meant not because the constitution is a bad thing. We are meant because it has to fit our purpose. Mm. So, I, 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 okay. For example, in America, or in the, in America, that's why I know there's something called Church of Satan. Mm -hmm. That's also spiritual leadership of a sort. It's an institutionalized belief. If you if you study what they stand for or what they are pushing for. I don't know America's grand agenda, but it looks like they are for a lot of over liberalism. The Democrats are for the liberalism, I understand. But if you watch certain sectors, certain cultures, especially churches, it's a bit too liberal. And knowing who humans are, reward and punishments um, shape us, as I said last week. So, whatever a spiritual leader and institution is professing that is going to go against the national agenda, then we either amend. That influence they are bringing, or we set them aside. Mm. So, so, so I'm open for discussion. Okay, so you you are okay with spiritual leaders being involved in national issues? Yes, okay. until they no more fit the purpose in which, for example, mm -hmm. extreme extreme religious beliefs. Okay, the Taliban. If I'm a leader or a president of any Middle Eastern country, and I find what my agenda for my nation is 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 is, is directly opposite the Taliban. Then mm. I'm sorry, I my, I cannot work for them. Mm. But somebody also say they also bring certain values mm. that uphold what they also want to achieve. Mm. So per that context, the Taliban that we all see as evil terrorists, somebody will think they are important. Mm. So the question is not a very straightforward answer. It's 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 either or. That's that's what I can say. It's a very open-ended. <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that I'll take it from the angle of um, traditional setting, where um, you know, in the olden days, we all know before Christianity became a thing in Africa, um, our chiefs and our um, opinion leaders in the communities relied on a certain spirit to guide them. And so for every village community, for most of the tribes, we all know that, oh, our gods don't like this. Our gods say you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why if we need development in our community, we can't be seen doing X, Y, Z. Now, that sort of guidance is what we are talking about. That sort of um, someone coming to make sure that we are on the right path mm -hmm. and we are not doing something which is um, untoward mm -hmm. or morally wrong. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people argue that, like you said, the example you gave about the gentleman who said, um, you're a man of God, you should focus on spiritual things and you shouldn't focus on, but you, you are in a nation and scripture advises you that w you should seek the well-being of the nation where you dwell. Mm. So if the nation is in crisis or is in chaos, mm. you cannot even propagate the gospel. You cannot teach, you cannot preach, you cannot do what you're supposed to do. And if the nation is also dying, there should be a voice in the nation that people must listen to a voice that is trusted a voice that is credible a voice that has authority mm -hmm. and that is where we seem to have the problem because we think that pastors are only good for the pulpit we think that because the person uses the bible he doesn't have any other wisdom mm -hmm. apart from the bible but, but there are people who would say that mm -hmm. you know um, i've heard so many people say what is happening in our country right now it can be traced back to what is happening in the pulpit mm -hmm. in other words they are saying that there's if there's corruption you mm -hmm. can trace it back to what is mm -hmm. happening in the pulpit yeah. so in a case like that wouldn't you then agree with them and say that um you know if we want to solve national problems mm -hmm. then we should solve them from the pulpit mm -hmm. i.e solve them from a spiritual perspective it is sad if people say just that because um <laughs> you know how many how many hours does an individual spend with their pastor in a in the whole week mm -hmm. That's, that's a major question we must ask ourselves. Let's not tickle ourselves and believe that just because the man of God used, um, it's not even two hours, the whole two hours is characterized with praise, worship, tithes, offering, mm -hmm. and it, the pastor has like 45 minutes to mm -hmm. preach. Mm -hmm. And after the person leaves there, the person spends about six days talking to other people, mm -hmm. interacting with other people and whatnot. I believe that if you take a look at the context of what a prophet Kofiyo Drew was saying, mm -hmm. the first part of his message will be my focus based on the question you asked, where he said that you must teach them that they cannot buy the altar. Mm -hmm. You must teach them that they cannot buy the presence of God. You must teach them that they cannot 
they cannot think that because now they are doing well mm -hmm. at the end of the day mm -hmm. they can dictate to the man of god whatever he is supposed to say mm. that is where the issue is mm. that is where the spiritual leaders matter mm. because some of the spiritual leaders have become paper tigers they do not bite anymore mm. they are not able to straighten someone because that person is bringing the biggest tight in the auditorium <coughs> and because that person is bringing the biggest tight in the auditorium regardless of anything he or she will be doing in the political circle they are handicapped they are incapacitated their voice does not matter mm. because the man of god knows that the moment i speak against xyz i lose my money mm -hmm. so this is where a lot of people the citizenry feel like the churches mm -hmm. or the pastors have failed them because there are churches today who will say that let's make this person a deacon because we cannot afford to let him go with his money Let's make this person an elder because we cannot afford him to let him go with his money. So we are giving people certain positions in church. Whereas what scripture says should be the position of an elder or a deacon, this person may not necessarily even meet the criteria. Mm. But we give the person based on money. Mm. So you will have people who would come in front, let's say men, uh, men of God are calling for a seat and you find a politician in that church or whoever is in that church. There are people, young men in that church who are coming forward for a particular amount. Mm. In as much as there is faith, there is a certain belief, there is uh, someone coming forward with a faith that I'm coming to sow this amount of money, you can look at the person mm. and know that, no, where is this young person getting this amount of money mm. from? Because we are people that do not believe in finding out the root or the source of someone's wealth. Mm. Our nation feels like when you talk about someone's money, you are jealous of the person. Mm. That how is it that this young boy drives a maserati and we are okay with it that we don't want to find out where he got his money from oh oh now you own our parents and barbara obedient parents bob brian stuff like that you find 25 year olds walking into the dealership with a bag load of money mm. to buy a range rover sport a range rover evo and nobody will ask them anything because when he comes on sunday he will call the same pastor to come and anoint the car and pray on the car and launch the car in the presence of his enemies you understand uh, <laughs> but, but, but isn't that still oh good. the spiritual leaders dealing with spiritual matters because if you're talking about these moral issues Would they ask so if 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 the elder is a congregant is uh -huh. a member of the congregation yeah. isn't the pastor supposed to deal with the spiritual aspect of that member uh, the spiritual and moral aspect no, of that member so and make sure that so such a person must have gone through foundational class such mm -hmm. a person must ah. have gone through some okay. training okay. so because so co co the question uh -huh. the question again is the question again is should spiritual leaders be involved in national issues or national development issues should they or, or should they stick with what they are doing in their mm -hmm. in their congregation yeah. make sure the teachings that uh, prophet odru was talking about the teachings should come within the congregation mm -hmm. but it shouldn't spill out and go into national issues but you see as a man of god i, I don't know how your schedule is but i believe strongly that after service mm -hmm. when people come to your office to see you they share issues with you your job is to listen to them and give advice mm -hmm. right yes. in as much as you put yourself in that position of authority where your voice matters in their life mm. you should also be concerned about where they are getting what mm. because recently there was a video that was trending mm. on social media mm. a young girl went to a church to give a te oh <laughs> no, go ahead. so, so she gave a testimony and when the pastor was listening to the testimony there was something that was not right what was the testimony oh it was about um <laughs> you you send a video she was talking about someone renting a house for her uh, getting her a house and even though she had completed is it SS, SHS, yeah. SHS or something and it's a blessing and for a moment the man had to pause and inquire I didn't listen to the full thing but my wife was discussing it with me and I'm like you see this is the element of the spiritual upliftment that is missing today mm -hmm. in the churches mm -hmm. because there are certain things that are taken like oh the person came the person came to tell you that someone gifted me a car and we are okay with it because we believed in the supernatural hand of God. <laughs> so that supernatural hand of God, some way, somehow, mm. I'm preaching now. Mm. Some way, somehow, <laughs> someone will just appear in your life. Call, 
and give you a car <laughs> and you will not know how it will happen call. but it will happen <laughs> so when they hear these sermons and somebody comes forth to give their testimony nobody begs to ask the question mm. that really where is this car coming mm. from because we know that this person is a factory worker in the factory certain where they are mm. they cannot get this car with the salary they make even for 20 years mm. they know <laughs> but they will not ask because it's it stops them from filling the auditoriums. Mm. Okay? That's how come you find a lot of people say there is no way Prophet Kofi Odro can have a 20,000 capacity auditorium mm. because of the things he says. Because mm. mm. if you are there, a bit how? Mm. Someone who boldly stands on the pulpit to mm. tell someone that offering Yamu to it, if you got it from your boyfriend, don't bring it. We don't need it. Mm. Don't bring it. We don't mm. need it. Such a strong Hardcore. voice. Hardcore, bro. Mm. And this is what we need in national development because all these politicians, take a look at this year. Mm. Let's give all our pastors between September and November. No, actually, start from June. It will start from June. No, start from June. Yeah. <laughs> Every pastor will begin to open his doors to these politicians. It has started. Come in and some even go to the extent of giving them the pulpit to preach mm -hmm. mm. before they campaign. Because mm. by the time he walks out of the auditorium, he will drop an envelope. Mm. And it is okay. And we cannot use that opportunity to tow, put them in line let them tow the line mm -hmm. that this is how the nation is suffering mm -hmm. this is how we are dying this morning i read a news headline uh pastor Minister Tabo saying that um, the young people that are leaving the country to europe they are going to join a sinking ship i just mm -hmm. read the headline mm -hmm. i've not read the story now just the headline on top of my head i'm thinking nobody in their right mind will leave a place that is good nobody at all nobody i don't think any young person leaving the country is leaving because they detest the nation mm -hmm. they detest the systems the structures the way we go about our stuff mm -hmm. it is draining the young guys too much mm -hmm. so spiritual leaders have a role to play mm -hmm. if they downplay the essence of what they do in the lives of their congregants we will keep discussing this issue over and over again ginger okay yeah so my first thing is the spiritual leaders that we are looking up to they themselves have they positioned themselves in such a way that when they speak they are speaking from a place of authority mm -hmm. now let's look at um i think the last week we did some research and we are the most what the 11 11 most, most religious countries and, and mm -hmm. where do these numbers come from mm -hmm. the number of churches mm -hmm. that are in the system you cannot tell me that every church so so, so we are we are not focusing only on church, on Christians as spiritual oh, I'm, 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 I was going to get there. Okay. I, I like to do church because obviously I'm Christian and all that. But you cannot tell me that every spiritual leader is from a genuine source. Okay. Now, if you compromise yourself, there is no way that you can go out there and then speak for anybody to listen to you. Mm. So the question we need to ask her, it's not about, for me, it's not a matter of they spilling over into the political mm. or governance space. My own is that they, they're the human beings themselves. Mm. You know. How did they get to where they are? Mm -hmm. well, how are they doing that which they are doing? And secondly, have they, are they from a genuine source? Because here's the thing. For me, I believe that, look, if you don't have the value, you cannot... You, you, you give up what it is that you have. Mm. You cannot give more than that. If what you know is what you can, you can give, you understand. Mm -hmm. So I believe that the level of um, indiscipline and everything we are seeing, mm. that is the level that they are at. Mm. Because before um, he mentioned Prophet Uju, the man is, should I say fearless? Mm -hmm. He says it as it is. Mm -hmm. Now ask yourself, why? Why does he do that? From where does he derive his audacity? Mm -hmm. From where does he get his authority? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And everybody will bear the man witness in this. And we, on the same vein, we have some people who come out, they can't even speak mm -hmm. because they have compromised themselves. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily collecting tithes or collecting money from, but they themselves, the source mm -hmm. from which they derive their authority. You know, it is questionable. Mm -hmm. So who would listen to them? Mm. That is why it appears as though people will tell you, okay, here's what, stick to that which you know. Mm. Now, when we, when we talk about the spiritual leaders, I know that some are full-time, some are half-time, some are all of those things. <laughs> no, look, some are like, part time. Yeah, <laughs> some are, ha yeah, some, some are like... Part-time, part-time. Thank you very much, part-time. Some are like, uh, we have, I don't know, they have like, oh, sorry, so what's your profession? I'm a pastor. Mm. Like, tell me, since when mm -hmm. did being a man of God or being a spiritual leader become a full-time profession? 
Last time I checked, it's a calling. Mm -hmm. Even whether, no matter the religion, last time I checked for me, it's a calling because you must have something to offer and then wh whatever deity you serve must say, okay, this is somebody that I can genuinely work with. Then the person says, okay, come and work for me. But I do not think that these people all went through that process. Mm -hmm. So if you compromise yourself, I don't think that you have the, the moral right to even speak. Mm. So that is why it appears as though people will say, okay, here's what, don't let, uh, maybe pastors should stick to, I mean, religious um, leaders should stick to their profession. Mm. But I believe that if they are able to clean up their act mm -hmm. and position themselves in places where um, I can confidently look at you and go, okay, here's what you are from a genuine source. I think they'll be better appreciated mm -hmm. in the governance space. So mm -hmm. until that happens, I believe majority of them should stick to that which they know mm -hmm. and not go because they are going, they're going to mess it up. Mm -hmm. So they, they, uh, when you say stick to what they know, stick to the, the spiritual matters. Yes. Okay. Until they clean up their act, mm -hmm. that okay. is. Okay. Until they clean up their act. But those me. who have cleaned up their act, can speak to spiritual uh, they can speak to national issues i don't i don't i don't mind i do not mind if you are if you clean up your act if a certain person like the clip we just watched mm -hmm. he can speak all the honorable mm -hmm. i don't have a problem with it mm -hmm. because he is saying it as it is mm -hmm. how can a man stand there okay here's what mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when we know that that is where some of these people get their monies from he doesn't want it that means that he doesn't depend on your money mm -hmm. to live mm -hmm. So such a person, please go ahead. Any day, come inside the political world, the governor, whatever, and say what you want to do. I don't have a problem with it. Mm. But if you know that you have compromised and sullied yourself, mm. please, no, work on yourself before you mm. come out there. Mm. Back to your question, because I want to go back to... Lucy, speak in the mic. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I want to go back to what Katie said. He said, when he mentioned mention the infrastructure, good schools, education, and all those things that comes as national development. I forget that one of the main things when we talk about national development is the human resource. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that the people in the spiritual aspect, as in our churches and all other denominations and religions in this country, they are overseeing. Mm -hmm. And they are the core people that will actually facilitate and expedite all these other, you know, infrastructure developments mm. that we need. Mm. And so when we say that our spiritual leaders are also, you know, forerunners of national development, mm. yeah, I believe they are. Mm. And I wouldn't say they should stick to what we know. You see, we, if these are men of God, even in their errors, are able to come up, admit their errors, seek, seek repentance like they guide us to do, Nobody, none of us, would say they should stick to what they know. Mm. Because as you said earlier, or as Matt said, they live in the country first as human beings and citizens. Mm. And then they oversee a group of people mm. that would also help in the development mm. that we need. Mm. And let's not also forget that we all know that everything in this world has a spiritual bearing first yeah. before the physical. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, when we say that they also help in national development, they are actually helping with the core mandate, that is the core people, the human resource mm. first. And so in that vein, I believe even, forget about the schools they have built, the hospitals, hospitals. the jobs, mm. where they build their schools, they make the roads okay. Mm -hmm. They build other infrastructure around to make sure that life around for the people, mm. that school around that area, I find it easy. Mm. I don't want to even go there. Mm. The core people are the human mm. resource. And when they are able to teach them, like Prophet Odro said, teach without fear or favor. Mm -hmm. Teach mm -hmm. that this is the way, mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. But but the same Prophet Odro doesn't only teach in his church. It seems he also critiques national policies. He so, critiques. Is, so, yeah. so I think that's the crux of the question yeah. I'm yes. asking. Uh -huh. so, so beyond the teaching that spiritual leaders do in there, whether uh, mosques, mm -hmm. churches, etc., Hmm. Uh, so, so beyond that, 
at which <laughs> where do we draw the line between you know teaching your congregation and then speaking to national issues okay uh, I, I don't know if you understand what there is no line there is no line there is no you line you see when we draw the line mm -hmm. that is when we start compromising ourselves mm -hmm. we shouldn't draw the line no. there should be no line drawn mm -hmm. and you see when we are fair let's just say that i'm a leader mm -hmm. and i teach my congregation you know i teach them the right way <laughs> and then i talk about policies like this mm -hmm. this year let, mm -hmm. let me let okay in this our africa let's say that <laughs> there are certain things that are going on mm -hmm that isn't going right. Mm. And it wasn't going right before. Mm. I came up openly mm. to castigate it, mm. talk about it, mm. so that we would also help. Because let's not forget that it is in their teaching that enforces people to make decisions and change governments. Mm -hmm. So they influence even from that side. Mm. And so if I've been able to castigate certain things that are not going on right, mm. or that are not going on well in the system, mm. in the nation for its development, and there <laughs> is a changeover, and then also another one, the changeover, I'm seeing the same trend or worse. So let, let me give you an example, a practical example. So in, in some African countries close to us, yeah. we've had issues like, you know, levies on electronic levies. Yeah. We've had, you know, mm. um, certain religious buildings or religious buildings being put up by the whole yeah. country yeah. and all that. Um, do you <laughs> do you expect do you expect spiritual leaders to just focus on guiding their people spiritually, or should they also address some of these issues? They should and, address, and, and is their addressing of these issues limited to just talking, or is there more? Apostle, I think they should address. You mm. see, the thing what I'm talking about is that when you say about their people. The people that forms the nation are also their people. Mm -hmm. And they are the voice of the nation. You see, sometimes that is when KB go like, they have the platform, they have the opportunity, mm -hmm. they have the opening to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And so with that, they should be able to address, they should speak true to a matter that is not mm -hmm. going well, mm -hmm. without fear or favor, without fear of losing what you, you seem to gain from the other person. Mm -hmm. And when the other person does it, you should also speak to it, mm -hmm. drive at it, make sure that things that are supposed to be done well must be done. Mm -hmm. If the levy in those African countries will not help and benefit, and believe me, it has crumpled a lot of, you know, Economies. SMEs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I always say that my, my former job, when we do the electronic, the amount of money that goes mm. in there can even employ like two or three people mm. in a month. Mm. So this is very, it is very, it's derailing the people that are trying to put up something together to help mm. also build the nation. Mm. And we speak to it mm. when we are trying to build some edifice. I mean, what is it for? Mm. What are we using it for? Is it for a betterment? Mm. You have had reason. These are long-term things. Mm. How about trying to address the short-term things that will make people more comfortable, make them more welcoming? Apostle, I always say this. You know, I got so peeved when... Uh, some some short quotes were put out there that we should contribute mm -hmm. to towards the that cathedral. to the national cathedral. <laughs> Apostle, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. these these are I national problems. Edifices in African countries, <laughs> <laughs> I want to be specific. No, yes, you want to be specific. You, I'm, 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 to I be also frank. want to be very very specific <laughs> yeah, because be frank, I always we, say this wherever we'll I go. To. Apostle, look, we are in this country when La like, General Hospital was bulldozed down mm -hmm. to be built. Mm -hmm. And the worst part is that when they put the short code, they gave a minimum amount of what, 100 cities. Mm -hmm. Ghanaians were peeved. In as much as Ghanaians were upset about this bulldozing of a yeah, hospital, hospital, do you know that if government had come and told Ghanaians to contribute towards the building of La General Hospital, mm. Apostle, we will grumble. Tell mm. me if we will not have mm. contributed. Yeah. Because this is something that is very, very mm. important to us. Mm in a short term than something that is going to bring a long-term goal. Mm. And these are some of the things that we need to speak to because mm. if the leaders are there, they are also within. Mm. The, fine, unless they are not feeling it. Mm. But they are overseeing and guiding people that are feeling and seeing. But, but, so sh that, shouldn't that mm. be a basis mm. for them to speak mm. to it? Mm. No. <laughs> no. So, so I, I, it shouldn't. Know, I know a few... Actually, it is not. I, I know a few spiritual leaders from the Christian side who... Um, 
you know, they were their voices were single, single voices. And so somebody would say, if only two people are speaking on some of these issues, mm -hmm. there's so much danger because you know the threat mm -hmm. of uh, if you have if you have an institution maybe yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah. school you'll be targeted you have and all a secondary that. school university you have a, a radio station or whatever you'll be targeted yeah the you look at the danger that uh, awaits you and your family and all that so at the end of the day don't you think spiritually there's make a wise decision to keep quiet and focus yeah, on helping. their on their congregation because when you look at it and in some parts of this in some parts of our continent you realize that if you even died as a martyr, it wouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Your name will be blotted out of the books. Nobody will remember what your sacrifice was for. So spiritual leaders may, may be very righteous people, people who fear God and all that, but then they weigh the cost-benefit. They do cost-benefit analysis, and they realize that, look, this thing is not worth... But, it's not but worth don't, is, that, is that what God exactly called them what to do? Exactly. No, is that what God Thank called you. them to Thank come you. and weigh cost -benefit. Yes. That's what God called you to come and do. Abby. Prosecution <laughs> and all that. No, Speaking no, truth no, to no, things no, actually no, makes no, you a target. Apostle. I'm confused. And you cannot sit back because if, you would be a target. If, then, if, then, if, then, if, then, if we really, if we really ah. go on that tangent, mm -hmm. then the Christian brother should also weigh the cost benefit of he <laughs> sharing the gospel in Pakistan, mm -hmm. of he sharing the gospel mm -hmm. in a country or area where his life will be threatened. Mm -hmm. so, so then I would also have to sit down and when the church comes out with but a but mission, say, say with, 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 say, 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 say with that one, someone, exactly. someone would argue that with that one, mm -hmm. they have a commission from Christ that you must ah, preach the gospel ah, that and at the, at the peril of yeah, your yeah, life. Yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah. that's, why, that's why this discussion is important because somebody will say, mm -hmm. Man of God, you are not supposed to enter the political space or yeah. enter the government space. Mm -hmm. So if you are if you are going there and you die, mm -hmm. you've died a useless death. But for all the leaders, the world, mm, for all the leaders we celebrate in the world, for mm -hmm. all the leaders that we clap for, such as such as um, Mahatma Nelson Gandhi, Mandela, Mahatma Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi had a strong Mahatma Gandhi had a strong backing. He had many people. He wasn't one person who was. Uh, no, speaking. he started no. as one person. Talking about Martin those who set the initiative, mm -hmm. those who begin the campaign, mm -hmm. those who put their voice out first, Apostle those Peter. who risk their lives, mm -hmm. those who say, "Look at me." Do you imagine? Do you imagine? Is it twenty-seven years? The um, Nelson Mandela. Twenty-seven years. Mm -hmm. Twenty-seven years. Imagine mm -hmm. twenty-seven years of your life. Mm -hmm taken away it from you for because cause. because for who yeah, i mean because yeah, for who and, 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 and for just one uh, just Nation. one thing <laughs> i want to do mm. yeah. why won't i just let that go mm -hmm. stay with my wife have my kids eat my good food and sleep in the problem mm -hmm. but there was a problem that had to be addressed mm -hmm. and I, I, are you saying i'm saying leader, spiritual leaders should risk their lives they must wait i'm confused and risk they the must. lives no, of their family they, they, they must what is the calling on they their must life? that is the reason mm -hmm. why they are there mm -hmm. And if they cannot do it alone, like we are saying in this studio Rally today, the they have a backing. Mm. Yeah. And if they can call on the members, then members will see that, no, this man is championing something yes. good. And this man is doing something great. Mm. What positive comments do we hear about Prophet Kofi Obro, like Ginger just mentioned? Mm -hmm. Every comment under his post, hey, as for this man of God, even if I'll go, to, there are people under his post who say that, hey, if for this man alone, I'll go to church. Mm. For this man, why are they saying that? Mm. Because he's the only one who is putting so his far. life out there. So, so far. far. Mm. Who is putting his life out there mm. and is risking it. See, we take a look at people who have influence. Mm. I was writing some things down when um, Lucy was talking. The fact that a man of God is only prophesying based on what he's going to get from a politician alone, like Jai is saying, mm. it makes his personality questionable. Yes. Mm. Because in that election year, he or she is forced to prophesy over someone because of an envelope they have seen. Secondly, the process of becoming a man of God. Mm. It is something that I always say that the nation has not gotten the chance to debate these things because like we always say, spiritual things cannot be debated. Mm. So if somebody says that God has called them, who are you to say that God has not called <laughs> Were them? You mm -hmm. there? Yes, because the spiritual issue. And mm -hmm. um, me. what would no, you do? You can't over take. over 3,500 churches in this country. Yeah, you're called. And yes, Obama. and all, uh -huh. over. Mm -hmm. And all of these men of God are saying that they have been called. Mm -hmm. 
Nobody but, saw the number. But there's criteria. <laughs> yeah, there is criteria. It's a All right. Criteria. Want to enforce but scripture see, has because, mentioned the criteria. See, because we haven't put ourselves there. But you there said to you said that. there is a spiritual criteria. Yes, it's, it's but a spiritual. That, you see, but it's the spiritual. Bible has also, or the Word of God has also told us the physical evidence of the spiritual criteria. Yes. Yeah. yes. So but, that, but, but for you, by their fruits. But for you to even discern that thing, you yourself, you have to be, you have to position yourself. Before you can be able to, okay, this man is this, this, this. No. Because some people bear fruit. Mm-hmm. Mind you, the devil comes as an angel of light, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some will bear the fruit you are talking about. But mm-hmm. the question is, do they f- are they what they seem to be? Mm-hmm. Or they there is something, and they, they are bearing fruits. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are people can form, mm-hmm. they can form, uh, your friend is saying, they can form four and all of those. That, but are they really it? Mm-hmm. That, that thing is, 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 not, is quite... It's not that it's simple. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, I know it's exactly. Because no, yes, I- if it were that iffy. simple, then we wouldn't have the plethora of denominations. Oh that no, we no, have. it's oh, because actually, there are people. You yeah, talk of fruit. Some of some somebody from our circles may may say that a man of God should not be divorced, for example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there are some churches that don't believe the same thing. Mm-hmm. So we may differ on some of these points. This is and, what and I this, said. And last this is where this is where doctrine. Mm-hmm. doctrine. That is where the this debate is. Just, is. This mm-hmm. is so now someone has started a movement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forgive me for using the word movement. Says no. Okay, these people were doing it oh, this sorry, way. Right. We will do it this way, but we'll add this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then these people also come. Yes. Okay. Yours is also fine, by which we will add water. And so and you see, their own thing. too many denominations, too many interpretations, too many faiths. Too many faiths. Mm-hmm. So here we are, we need a voice to rise and speak mm-hmm. about the nation's problems. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at the example Lucy gave mm-hmm. about building a tourist center. As compared to, look at the housing deficit in the nation. Mm-hmm. Look at the medical facility deficit in the nation. Mm. Even with the communities that we have in the nation, how many of them have an actual chip compound? I'm not mm-hmm. talking about mm-hmm. a hospital. Mm-hmm. A chip compound mm-hmm. where people can get basic health care. How much is None. the daily minimum wage? People, pregnant women are sitting on motorbikes, mm. gallivanting between <laughs> communities, <laughs> trying to find the yes. right place. But we don't have mm, someone <clears throat> saying, you see, KB, we don't have... The, the, the spiritual leader saying that, see, we must set our yeah. priorities right. Yes. Okay. Even though why, are... why choose a tourist center over, let's say, a hospital? Why are you calling like, it a tourist center? It's a, a tourist well, center. Well, 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 we have churches. That's what I want. But I see some churches don't see it as no, a tourist center. No, but you know the tourist center that we have. Because, because we have your, church, that, because your church building, your church building. The existing one is or was. Like the Perez Dome. Some may see the Perez Dome, for instance, and I'm saying that because of the architectural Yes. magnificence yeah. of it. Some people may see it as a tourist center, mm. but we really? know it's a place of worship. Yes. Oh, yes. Tourist for, center. for a long time, it was the biggest coming. auditorium yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. That when I entered here, no, I started checking myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, there are some who may say that if you have a big church building, it's it's a spiritual. It shows the two inf- it shows two it shows the interest. I'm coming. Two different it shows things. the interest that the people have. I'm coming. Uh-huh. It shows the interest that the people have in the divine. I.e., the bigger the edifice, the more interest the people have in the divine. And so Which if we do? have, if, if you enter the country that had a very huge Basilica, mosque, for mean. instance, mm-hmm. a huge mosque, it would immediately send a message that the people in this country are good Muslims or there is a large proportion of the people here that are Muslims. In the same way, somebody may say that if you have a huge cathedral, then it represents oh. the, the kind of affinity that the, the people awesome. have for awesome. spiritual awesome. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. You are released. We are released. <laughs> so, you see, there are two different things. One is using the nation's taxes and one is using offerings, titan, commitment, church. pledges that, that have church. come from congregants. Mm. They are two different things. willing people. The church mm. is not mandated to do the things that the citizenry needs mm-hmm. for them to have a better life. Yeah. They give the spiritual upliftment. Mm-hmm. If push comes to shove in the corporate organizations, they see these other things as their CSR. Mm-hmm. Like helping yeah. the less privileged, yeah. building yeah. a school yeah. in a community, mm-hmm. going to a place and finding out there, there's a need for a borehole. Yeah. And they plant one there. Yeah. That is what the church does. Mm-hmm. Revenue Sudanaba is doing that in Bolgatanga. Oh, yes. And so, Amazing. when we talk about a nation that has money sitting down, money is that from your tax, money in my tax, your tax, her tax, at the end of the month, I have deductions from my salary. Mm-hmm. And in my mind, it should go into something that would Let ease the you. burden yeah. or, yes, Let release me of some pain. Mm-hmm. And here I am 
There are mothers sleeping on the floor who are giving birth in certain hospitals, public hospitals, what have you. That's why a lot of people say that they are trying to make money in this nation so that certain problems do not apply to them anymore. Yeah. And we shouldn't get there as a nation. These are basic things. We cannot skip. <laughs> but, but won't you agree? Observe. Apostle, we cannot skip these basic things <laughs> and prioritize something like a national cathedral. Uh, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Kevin, before you come in, just, just, just 30 seconds. That, at the end of the day, what is it bringing us? Uh, but someone would also argue that the the national cathedral for instance it's a transgenerational project i.e you are the Apostle. poor the poor Apostle. the poor and the sick and the dying you always have yeah. but if you have a government that is able to build a cathedral that will last for generations Apostle. and would, would really invite the presence of god then they are doing something that so, god is you know, ah, so our churches doesn't have really have that presence because if, of god. if you go with the argument of observing you would be saying that okay we have to prioritize healthcare. Therefore, until everybody is well, until we've okay. built enough hospitals, okay. then there shouldn't be anything like a national what, what, is the, what, what is the ultimate think, goal of God? I think for, what he for, is trying for to his say. People. Mm -hmm. What is the ultimate it's, goal? It's of our God? welfare. Then, and even, um, I don't know if it's welfare is across like I always say, quotations, I'm not good with it. That I wish above all okay. things that you may cross cross John and, and, health, and yeah. being good. Third John verse 2. Yes. Why is it that it is a wish? It is a wish for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because some people will not make we'll will make sure will choose not to do it. Okay, Yes. Let's see. Some people will choose not to do it. I think that I think what he is saying is that so here's the thing. It is not a wrong concept. Not but for me, it is the timing of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, when you take the Bible in its entirety, mm -hmm. you know, before Jesus actually came, we had heard that he would come. Mm -hmm. Certain Old Testament prof prophets prophesied that Jesus would indeed come. Mm -hmm. But did Jesus come at the time Christ were released? No. Mm -hmm. He came at the time when that it was, was right. right. Mm -hmm. So how, why can we not apply that same principles to us? Mm -hmm. If we are here professing to believe in one God or the other, mm -hmm. which we all do, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I know one thing that cuts across is the timing of the said God that people follow. Mm -hmm. So why are we having a difficult time mm -hmm. picking from the books that we refer to and bring and practicalizing it? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? No, that, that's the question. Why are we struggling so mm -hmm. much? You understand? This whole thing that we are using as an example, for me, it is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. But the question is, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Is it right? Recently, there was a transaction that I did um, and the tax... <laughs> on that alone, the VAT alone was 29,000 Ghana cities. Wow, you say wow, that is just minus NH, NHIL, yeah, minus tourism Netfine. levy, thank you, <laughs> uh, minus uh, COVID uh, levy, uh, national health insurance levy, yeah. levy. Yeah. Yeah. COVID levy, yeah. tourism levy, yeah. VAT, yeah. VAT, and VAT even, even certain jurisdictions cry, yeah. <laughs> yeah. V no, so VAT <laughs> alone, ah, was, nice nice. VAT <laughs> alone was 29,000, mm -hmm. and this was only for a period of say what three months. Mm. So make me understand something. Multiply that by the so twenty nine thousand. What what can that money do really? Mm -hmm. A lot. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a, a whole. Mm -hmm. That's a somebody's. Uh, and you have how much? Is two years salary. How much is years. a daily minimum wage mm -hmm. now as we are speaking? <laughs> how much is it? Mm -hmm. Yet we are expected. Ghana cities. Wow, sure. mm -hmm. How much do you even breakfast cry is saying? Mm -hmm. So make your point. So my point is that some of these things, the it is not bad in its entirety. Yeah. It is all about the timing. The timing. Okay, Let's get so, the timing so right. National Cathedral is not a bad idea, oh. but the timing, is that what you mean? Yes. yes. It is not so a bad idea. Okay. And, and Apostle, I, I don't want so, to... So is it, is it that it's not a bad idea as long as it's uh, the people... How, how is this one so, being done? So, so it's thing. our taxes and people's yes, personal, but, but so people's contribution. And also know. hoping for some funding. Thing. Okay. So you see, we, don't even have we can even juxtapose it with the biggest must that we have today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that, that was held by the Turkish yeah. government. Okay. So in this case, there is already someone who is coming in to do the work. We provide the land. The person works in unionism with the government mm -hmm. and they put it up. Mm -hmm. Sim simple as that. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Mind you, you see, <laughs> These are some of the little things that some people don't like to talk about. And they make it look like, oh, you're a Christian. You know, stick, don't do this. Yeah, in but the nation, we have think. bulldozed down buildings, bungalows be belonging to judges. Mm -hmm. Bulldozed them down. Giving these judges new money. To rent. To go and rent at a new place. Very high. And today look at the state of the ground. Mm -hmm. And certain venerable ministers of God looked at the situation, looked at the, you know, the debt going on in there. And they are like, see, we can't be part of this. Mm -hmm. We want to step aside. Mm -hmm. But personally, mm -hmm. stepping aside isn't it's enough. Mm -hmm. 
you should let us know Why? what is going on there, mm -hmm. yeah. which is not going to help the ordinary guy. Mm -hmm. Because it is like, oh, so something bad is going on in this room. I've just stepped aside. Yeah, so if that. you, as a Christian, mm -hmm. you are in a room full of snakes, mm -hmm. and you just leave the room, and you are passing, and someone is running tail. into that room, mm -hmm. and all you do is that, mm -hmm. I don't mind whoever is running mm -hmm. into that room, then you are not right. Mm -hmm. Okay? You should be part so, so of changing the story. But, but have you also considered this? When I was talking about the cost-benefit analysis. That so, 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 be no, so, so hold on. Assuming you're a spiritual leader, maybe from, yeah, from any religion, you're a spiritual leader and you have thousands of congregants. Let's say you have hundreds of thousands of congregants. Mm -hmm. They meet in meeting places. You have branches all across the nation. Now, if you should stay silent, okay, and teach your people the true doctrine, give them the right teachings like uh, Prophet Odro was saying, mm -hmm. f 50 years from now, 100 years from now, you will still have millions of Christians that could have been raised. Whereas if, if, if you, you open your mouth and spoke now, the chances of you having your churches closed down, the chances of you having your ministry stifled, mm -hmm. if you have a radio station, TV station, school, whatever, those things could be stifled. In that case, you realize that what you ended up having to do as a Christian minister, okay, your, your main agenda, which is the winning of souls, that wouldn't be achieved. You would have spoken out. People would have regarded you as brave or fearless, but to what end? Apostle, that's what many people. That, that's what some people. Apostle, 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 this one. Apostle, this one. Apostle, this one. Apostle, this one but but, but you, you get where I'm coming from. I get from. you, but it is so wrong. Mm -hmm. If it is so wrong, if we think if I speak, because let's not forget, in as much as like you are saying, we should teach the right things so that we get the right thinking <coughs> people in the next couple of years. Let's say twenty decades to come, thirty years to come, things will be right. Let's not forget. That the, the same things, the same gospel we are teaching also tells us to rebuke. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we, we should reprimand. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be complacent of tiny, the, the Bible says the tiny foxes and, and the flies. Mm -hmm. And they are the other ones that actually are most distractive because they actually destroy the smell of a prophet. One tiny fly can destroy a lot. Mm -hmm. So, if you are thinking about all the things that because you <coughs> speak, it will be clamped upon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also for, I beg to differ. <laughs> then I begin to wonder mm -hmm. whether, like she said, like Ginger said, you have been called or you called yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is one. <laughs> okay, so precious one, we are discussing, <laughs> we, are dis <laughs> we are discussing spiritual leaders in national <laughs> development. Let's hear your views. You can send us your comments on our WhatsApp platform, 0203-438-710. Again, 0203-438-710. Let's know what you think. Should spiritual leaders get involved in national development issues? Or, like some say, should they stick to spiritual matters, specifically in their congregations? Somebody sent a comment. He said, Good afternoon, Apostle. I'm Solomon watching you live from Asankregua, Western Region. Your show is loud and clear. Religious leaders play a major role in national issues, but the system of governance today has limited them to only their pulpit. 80% of our religious leaders have failed us big time because the politicians have silenced them. Mm. And so my question remains. Lucy, I've heard you, but I'm wondering, really, if put yourself in the shoes of a spiritual leader. And you see, it's different if you are single. Yeah, it's di yeah, I'm coming. It's different if you are single. We don't know. We know about John the Baptist, for instance. We don't have records of him having a family, so John the Baptist could say the things he said, and he could, you know, he could bear the consequences alone. But if you have a family, mm -hmm. you're a spiritual leader. You have a family. You have people who are looking up to you. You have. Uh, uh, institutions that you have to build. You have schools that you are supposed to continue building. You have hospitals that you, you're supposed to continue building. And you go and speak and you are attacked or you are a target of a certain government. Mm -hmm. What what then when you really look at the Wait till end result? Yeah, what did you Wait gain? Till you gain? Job Wait, didn't uh, do anything. Be, People were fried. Okay. No, no, really. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think. Um, well, every 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 organism, every human, is is selfish, or it's it's the existential nature of us. We want to thrive, we want to um, do well, go on. But if an institution or an individual is set out, to, you see, I started with purpose. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. 
anything that is going to hinder the national development has to be set aside. In this case, Fiero pastors have to be set aside. Amen. Mm. Because if they are not set aside, mm. the national agenda of bringing purity, integrity, yes. and, 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 and speaking truth to power, they will stifle it. They will dilute it. They will pour sand in that gary. Gary ne is and you've poured sand inside. Okay. Who is the ultimate uh, uh, mentor? Christ. Christ. He died. Christ. I'm older than Christ when he died. Mm -hmm. But Christ is more superior and more impact. impact. And his apostles also died. Yes. yes. So if sure. it's the death we are afraid of, then let's look for some oh, some died. club, baby. Something that is uh, is dying free and go and join and lead. Thank you. You just said there's no blood. Shed. It's like 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 let's form there's let's no let's live yeah. for yourself. Yeah, no let, let, let's form there's some no humanist risk. society, some club. We come, we just cheer each other, Charlie. We pat us on the back and we go. <laughs> and I, I I one denomination that I love to hate. Love to hate means love hate. Like, I like them. Love I like them at the same time. Yeah. It's the Catholics. One thing. I, I initially I thought it was controversial, but the fact that Catholic priests are not allowed to marry and have kids, it's a blessing in disguise. A lot of people don't even, like, oh, they'll, they'll burn, they'll be full of passion. But the truth is that when you have offsprings, mm -hmm. when you have a wife, there's a way you, you, there's some programming that makes you carnally minded that you don't intend to. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, material things become a big deal uh, and pleasing compromise whatever so i realized that the non catholic churches the challenge you seem to be enumerating is because charlie you have kids you have a wife what if something happens to them so then maybe the catholic model is the best people who can serve god and not have kids yes so that the rest of us that are no, it makes them radical because they have no because kids it, nothing yes. exactly for example if, if if for those who follow i like i like espionage movies i like cia mi6 mm -hmm. yeah, 007 yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they, they the always they prefer orphans too much mm -hmm. or they like the 007 was an orphan james bond was an, there's a way the program deliberately brings people who don't have a lot to lose mm -hmm. and in the past who were pastors who were priests john the baptist son rascal will be he doesn't mind being some sweet. He doesn't he want to impress the Jerusalem yes. girls. He doesn't. He doesn't. He he does he does yeah, he doesn't. His phone like Instagram. Like he wants to be some fresh. But no, it's like he come. Oh, honey, Charlie, you taking your sister's wife or wife, whatever, <laughs> something, something. Yeah. Exactly. So then, let's go back and write the script. The type of world we are in now, or the type of impact we want to make, we don't need fresh boy pastors anymore. <laughs> <laughs> fresh boy pastors, them. fresh girl pastors, please. You are nice for our schools, our ballet classes, <laughs> our ballet lessons, but you are going to attach Bible. Fine. Yeah, she's going to do her ballet, but she's going to be spiritual. Be there. Mm. Then let's take the right. prophet Odro's the type. No? Now, how do we reproduce such people? Mm. Yeah. Do we make them not marry? Do we take them to a trial mountain? No, maybe, no, maybe, no, maybe, maybe, no, maybe. No. maybe. No. We, we do, we're talking about reproduction. Reproduction mm -hmm. means you want to do it last scale. You want to do it at a very faster mm -hmm. pace. Is it that we are going to have a prophet to draw every 30 years? Then we know that, okay, then all the fresh boy and fresh girls who are afraid of their skin, their wife, let's back just one person. <laughs> he accomplishes it. He's going to be killed. He's going to be martyred. Another 30 years, then we know that we have a 30 year cycle of one true man of God. But until then, they are what I'm seeing with these clubs and things, I mean, I'm not impressed. But Too no, many but clubs no, on Sundays. No, but Prophet has has shown that you can do it married. Yeah. Yes. He has shown that way. Wait, and the, and the Bible even advocates no, that I'm bishops and so yeah, should but, have but one man husband of one wife. The the way that you don't necessarily have to be celibate. Mm -hmm. And he also has to, a school, I believe. He, uh, guy is a I, I, let, me, let, let me explain myself. I'm saying that we are talking about mass production. We are talking about impact. Yes. But if having wives and kids makes you much for example a lot of uh, uh the fresh boy fresh girl uh, <laughs> leaders <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I should, I should change uh, it's my opinion go ahead, go ahead. because the type of priests i was seeing in, in jesus films as we call in ghana are not the ones i'm seeing i'm not saying they are not doing their work mm -hmm. but in terms of appearance look charlie council culture it's like oh do yeah, yeah. like 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 yeah, how can you be a pastor language. you are afraid of council true, culture true. then what about asha and we the mcs and we brand ambassador then we there we there who whatever yeah. we can't profess our faith mm -hmm. so if the sphere of your kids and your wife will make a lot of people become club 
owners yeah. and not yes. church owners, yeah. then let's but watch it. Let's then. go to the but, uh, but, 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 but okay. I want to give one clear example. Mm-hmm. With all the examples that you gave, that I have a family and all that. Look at what David did with Bathsheba mm-hmm. and when Nathan went to him. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that could have caused Nathan's death? Mm-hmm. When he confronted mm-hmm. David, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but he used and wisdom. Dave, and and David that. was wild. David <laughs> bought. Yes, but but exactly. the thing, but, but, so, but so that's what but, you but just said. That the authority that Nathan had, he knew that Nathan had. He knew it was not for man. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, that is why he, you see. That is what she was Your trying source. to say. Yes. Yes. Your source is saying. very yes. important. Yes. But John the Baptist also came from God. And yet I, he was so are we saying John was born? There's his, a life prophecy. Had, but, his life had been planned but out if, for yes. if, if, even so with the, even according. in the case of John uh-huh. the question we should what? be asking ourselves what was the end what was the end result but of that? Wait, so, no no, 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 no the end goal was to clear the way for the Messiah so I am not asking what I didn't conclude let me conclude and throw it to them so if it's going to be every 30 years that we are going to have a matter let's as Christians because of the end game we want, let's come together. Okay, we are going to have one matter. He seems celebrating. And not that a lot thing that, oh, you are celebrating, but exactly. it's a more in exactly. room 33. It's honey, no, no, no. This guy, he's like, with no wife and kids, he's going to deliver. Mm-hmm. This one, too, with wife mm-hmm. and kids, he can deliver. He's not afraid. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, prototype. Uh-huh. You understand? Mm-hmm. But now the problem we're having is that we are having priests who want to have kids, want to have wives, want to be on Instagram, want to start nice, want to be nice, they and at the same priests. time, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, do their work that John the Baptist, or you can eat your cake and have it. That's why even in the military, we have striking force. Where mm-hmm. tell some people, they'll come diplomatic, like they the police. Married, some yeah. to when they can shoot to kill. Yeah, yeah, but KB. Yeah. We're having too many cadets. Okay. We need police. So, we so need I've, military. I've understood you, uh-huh. but my concern uh-huh. still remains. So assuming... Uh-huh. I, I'm a spiritual leader, mm-hmm. and I am—I don't fear death. I have a family. Uh-huh. I'm ready to die. Yes. You should always be ready to die. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. My question is: uh-huh. in a system, in a system like ours, where victimization? No. Where you will die, but your name will be blotted out of history, okay. and your yes. death but would have amounted to nothing. You will die yeah. anyway. Yeah. yeah. Your no, death you would have amounted yeah. to Apostle nothing because. And you are not living. Apostle, living. am I done? Apostle, am I done? Yeah, you're, you're not no, living for yourself, even. but you want you want your sacrifice to have meant something. It will uh-huh. be a long so, run. It will mean something. It is. How? It is. No, it will. Because we, we know certain journalists that have been murdered. Yes. And right now, you ask yourself, what yeah, was the cheap. end result yeah, of that? When we yeah, talk goes. about when we talk about the transformation of Ghana, their are names certain. Yes. Now. Are you sure? And, of and, course. And Ghana is history. Reasons. A lot of people died. Okay. Yes. Kwesi Pratt's name. Even in Chroma. Every time recently, journalists I'm talk about Kwame Chroma, I'm a swallow. Right. Yes. Yeah. Anas. And all yes. of these. The list goes on Anas and on. Is not dead. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> talking about. I'm talking about those who are. Yes, okay. the risk. Okay. Bongo ideas. For, for, for <laughs> all the oh, interesting oh, reasons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> for all the interesting reasons, he stood for something he believed in. He stood for the ni- minority who are always afraid to talk certain things that we are thinking. Mm-hmm. We might not like him, but he was risking it. And that's why a lot of people like them, mm-hmm. but for different reasons. So, in conclusion, Apostle, if it's about self preservation, so it's not you cannot start a church. No. So, I'm saying it's not about self preservation. No, no, you are saying the that person is ready to die. It, the person has a family and is ready to die. But, 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 but to what, as soon as take the question, to, to what end? To end. Okay. The very to Christ's end. end. To father's. Christ's end. If you cannot die for Christ, you cannot be a founder of a church. No. You shouldn't be, actually. You shouldn't be. Okay. You you can be. That's what I'm saying. Clubs. Clubs means we have rules, we have values, but it's a subset of of something uh-huh. that, that, that's why i gave an example i mm-hmm. gave two scenarios mm-hmm. so a spiritual leader who maybe he has a congregation of a thousand mm-hmm. right now and he speaks mm-hmm. his church is closed down his branches are closed down he won't have the chance to you continue the, the work of the gospel the whereas whereas no, you have whereas actually. in the second scenario the, the the spiritual leader goes to the root of the problem he he addresses his congregation he tries to teach them well okay. he doesn't he doesn't criticize the Let government and 20, and 20 years from much. 20 years from now he has 100 more branches more righteous people that have been how, how that 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 I'm, how that no, no, I, I'm, I'm on the floor i'm on the floor let me conclude with <laughs> this <laughs> the bible says unless a grain of wheat die for the ground and die by alone so what if Christ also came? Yeah, he, he was so 95. 
He attended funerals. He drank asana. He <laughs> chilled in campus. He, he, he did all wine. that flow with the Jerusalem girls, but never died. <laughs> <laughs> we will not have all the um, history, history of churches that we had. Mm. So the quintessence, the, the, is it that word? And I, I don't know. The, there I found the middle uh -huh. of quintessence. I so loved it. Mm. The quintessential reason why churches are, exist, are, exist yeah. is that they have to die. Die to self. Die to die to come on. Uh, 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 um, the world. Die to, uh, 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 oh, there's a word, majority uh, uh, opinion. Like, okay. if you can't walk alone, you cannot be a, a, a founder of it. That's mm. what I'm saying. Then let's now have two types. <laughs> Priests and club owners. Yeah. Like soccer. Like you're a club owner. You understand? But you, you are not necessarily the, yeah, yeah. So so let's let's so now let's have two uh, 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 a, 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 a club owner who is not a, a, like you are you are a pastor, but you are a club owner. You but are not a founder. Them, but we have them now. No, but oh, we are, we they are calling themselves priests. Yeah, they are just yeah, club yeah. owners. So, but, in, but we know them for who they are. At least some oh, of no, us no, in do. Ghana, a lot of people are calling club owners pastors. They are not. But, but they are. If you see them, you will know. If you experience them, you would know. Ah, so they if we have a lot of pastors to, to and priests, for what they are, if we are a lot and of address priests, them for what they then are. if we have a lot of priests mm -hmm. and they they work there, so then we shouldn't have this program. They because are not. We are. They are not working there, so that's why we are yes. having this. Yes. And we yes. want that's to know why are they not doing that? Because we are not requiring of them to do better. No. If it works. If it uh, works like a duck, looks like a duck. It may not be a duck. It's a <laughs> no. So if no, it is it's not, not then it's we don't not, have ducks. It is what is it? Then we don't have ducks. Be, 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 be very duck. careful, though, because uh -huh. indirectly you are saying that majority of our fathers of the land today they are club owners. You are saying they are club owners. Yes, <laughs> the majority are club owners. Be very careful, though. <laughs> be very, very careful. <laughs> unless I don't understand who a priest is, unless I don't understand why we instituted the church, uh -huh. I don't. Under, unless I don't understand what the mission of a gospel or whatever uh -huh. is. But but those same people at the same time they are still building schools, they are still building hospitals, they, they, are, still, they, are, still, they are still they are still they are still making impact. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for generations yet unborn. Is, so, no, so no, you you see, you seem to be great. saying that you seem to be saying until that because they are not die until you can die, die. You are not a priest of Christ. Impact, your impact is inconsequential. No, no, you are a club owner. You are not a priest of Christ. I think that for me, when um, or you like, I wanted to say something before I forget, Apostle, because. If they are building the schools, they are building the churches, they are building all the businesses. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget the call. They are building it in, in their the name mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if the people, because that is they just running their schools, their churches, their hospitals in one corner. If the main uh, and the core people that are running things in order to make the schools that they are building, mm -hmm. the hospitals and the clinics and all the jobs that they are providing for people not go accordingly, they, it will still collapse. Mm -hmm. It will mm -hmm. still collapse. Mm -hmm. All the efforts they have put, in they fact, are the when they sweat, die, they're, it will still collapse. And people die exist. and yeah. things and collapse. They, they go mm -hmm. So if they you they don't speak to rate, okay. because so, you see, it's it's the, job, the job, the job of them. a pastor, mm -hmm. where he goes into the community work, providing ball, providing school, um, a small clinic, whatsoever, monies that have been you know guarded from good will people yeah. to build these things mm -hmm. if the policy is wrong if the program is wrong mm. from government yes. nothing can be right with them mm. from what they are doing policy doesn't influence it mm. programs do not influence it mm. because at the end of the day if they build a hospital mm. and government does not send nurses. any nurse mm. huh. to those Even areas who would be serving in these places mm -hmm. And if they build schools, and at a point in time, the educational sector I'm is not, not doing teachers. so well. Exactly. The curriculum is not that good. Mm -hmm. There is always a problem with it. I was talking to someone this morning about this topic mm -hmm. that, oh, you know, spiritual leaders. And she was talking about revenue student number. Apparently, um, not apparently, I think factually, mm -hmm. I'm told that he has one of the best educational facilities in Bogatanga. Mm -hmm. And his school is like the example. Mm. Okay. When the nation becomes too much ungovernable and there is no money and the congregants are not given enough, mm. even in their churches, mm. whatever good Reverend Eastwood Anaba is doing in Borgatanga will cease mm -hmm. because the, the congregants are not bringing in the monies anymore mm -hmm. because they find themselves in a country where nothing is working. They are stifled. They, they, they are stifled. 
So all of these good deeds that they do, mm -hmm. don't forget, all these things that the pastors do are just goodwill. Mm -hmm. they, they, they appeal to church members. Church members say, okay, I'll give 10K. Yeah. I'll give 5K. Let's go and build a school mm -hmm. for this community. Mm -hmm. If the church members are not having the word without mm. to come forward and say, I'm giving this, mm -hmm. where do you think they would get the money to mm. do all these nice mm. things? The major contributor of the infrastructure of the nation is the government. Mm. Let's not forget that. They institute policies. They bring about all these programs, Thank initiatives, mm -hmm. and campaigns to run the nation. Mm. Yeah. A pastor can be good. Mm -hmm. yes. He can be generous. He can be nice. Mm. But quintessentially <laughs> he would have to rely on mm. the government whatever he's doing is within a certain yeah, context it's within a certain context okay. because at the end of the day see if um you you have a church building you have an mm. uh, educational facility yeah. you have a hospital there are then, no nurses uh, who trains nurses yeah. uh -huh. And because who gives who gives uh, uh, postings to nurses? Thank you. Okay, so, end, who, so, 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 so who, who certifies them? So, so in practical terms, how can things change? So if you're saying spiritual leaders must speak up, mm -hmm. but spiritual leaders have different views yeah. concerning this particular mm -hmm. topic. Mm -hmm. I know we have uh, Christian Council, we have some of the Christian bodies, but Dana Pentecostal, uh, Dana, uh, GPCC and Co. Yeah. But within these organizations or institutions, you have people with differing views okay okay how in practice how can they have one voice to address an issue especially seeing that some individuals like you mentioned may have a personal stake in yeah. the thing okay mm -hmm. uh, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yeah, they may have yeah. A, yeah. a personal it's, it's, it's stake they look at what they stand to yeah. lose and they realize it's not worth it. How can we, in practice, make this? Okay. Happen? That, that, that they brain. have different views is, is the, it's, it's a problem in itself. Because mm. I believe that regardless of denomination, regardless of faith, I know it's one thing that we are all aspiring to. Mm -hmm. Or that's what we all claim that we worship. Mm -hmm. That is God. And last time I checked, God doesn't have three Other or four. No, he yeah. doesn't. And it's the Bible. Mm -hmm. Forget the versions. But the core message is what? scripture is inspired by god right mm -hmm. beautiful so if, if that is where we are all basing our belief system and imparting to our congregants then we shouldn't have divergent views even if we do all our views should feed into that yeah. one message yeah. mm -hmm. do you understand so we are at this table right mm -hmm. we are all talking about spirituality vis-a-vis -vis governance and all of these mm -hmm. things one thing we are we are going through different angles. But all we are arriving at is that there is a need mm. for spirituality to eat into, to be a part of mm -hmm. daily it's governance. Yes. That is what we that is, that is the theme. It See, depends. so I don't know. That's what we are all agreeing. But how? To. Good. So are the you how is mm -hmm. the how is in the first place. Let's scratch that different divergent views that we have. Mm -hmm. We need to understand that. We need to imbibe, okay, and understand that we are ascribing to one thing. And that is for the peace of the nation, for the progress of the nation. As God has instructed mm. beautifully, for that matter, in the Bible. So we need to start working on our heads and our hearts. Mm -hmm. They need to, whatever it is you have, put it aside and understand that everything that I am doing, we have to feed into that one agenda. And until we understand that we need to feed into that one agenda, we don't have a cause. Mm -hmm. So normally what happens is, like you said, some pastors are very different. There are ones that are not that vociferous. We understand that. Mm -hmm. Their callings are different. Mm -hmm. Some are apostles. Mm -hmm. Some are evangelists. Teachers. Others are teachers. Yeah. Some you are know, but they, they are called by that, one. They are called Christ. by one. Exactly. One God. Yeah. Okay. But at the end of the and day. And it's for the edification of the church. Of the church. Mm -hmm. Now, in principle, mm -hmm. last week I said this. Mm -hmm. We always argue on doctrine. But in principle, mm -hmm. What do we want to achieve, like Ginger is asking? Mm -hmm. The well-being of the nation. Mm -hmm. That is the principle. It's not yeah. about whether you, you pay tight with a tight card or you don't pay tight. Yeah. When we come into that room mm -hmm. and we are discussing the nation, the end goal is the nation must be better. Yeah. Yep. Asa. Yep. So every decision we yeah. take in that That's room yes. should go yeah, so into... If priests have yes. to die for the nation to do what they, they have, have to, to die. die. It's, <laughs> close. It's, 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 it's just like a the soldier. Program is to be a frank. soldier going to war. Who goes, signs up to be part of the military and says that, hey, I think I have a wife at home. Aha. I think I have a daughter. What about Banza military will you no. have? No. Since you. <laughs> you understand? It's like our soldiers are more Christ like than our priests. It doesn't make sense. Even like Mahatma Gandhi said. Yeah. 
I like your Christ, but, but I don't like your Christians. Christians. Your yeah. Christians are so unlike your Christ. Yes. Yeah, it's true. What, what is Christ standing yes. for? Yeah. So we can't what, die. What is it that we are asking? In fact, the truth of the matter is, <laughs> to, to be, be frank, frank <laughs> yes. too many all crowd. of us here, some of the things that we are saying, which we are putting our families at risk. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. exactly. Yeah. For us. Yes. Okay. Not but even our families. Yes. So why why are you God. looking at the door? <laughs> I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> we are putting our yeah. lives. Not just our families, yes. our reputation, yes. our future employment. Yes. Mm. Because if maybe I work for a boss or somebody knows a boss of mine that oh you this know. is the view that oh Ginger has. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean I should die before so, okay, you uh, know. went to, to be frank to go and say this. You okay. know. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we are Don't putting ourselves at risk. Exactly. exactly. Take take yeah. a long holiday. <laughs> after <laughs> that's it. And that's it. And if you watch full time pastors. What we are full time pastors, yes, uh, uh, it's, it's a coinage yes, that has come. We are pastors. feeding full-time them, pastors. we are not making them do mm. mainstream work mm-hmm. because we also want to insulate them from setting compromises, which is like, a mistake. No, yes, for example, let me use the Catholic Church. Like, oh, a, 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 wait, wait a second, a Catholic that's priest, an institution on its own. I'm now. coming, <laughs> a Catholic priest is giving like. Uh, the uh, minimal, code. the basic, it's yeah, the like basic, so it's the basic. So that the idea is that they don't go and compromise to get the basic. They yes. live in mission houses. They don't own property. You let, let's you, not get it let twisted. Me, let me let me land. Mm-hmm. Yes, that I understand. Basic. There's this old yes. of poverty. Yes. They don't even own. At least they make sure that there's the, the basic so that they can function as the Maslow's theory of need. It has to be fulfilled first. Yes, mm-hmm. but sometimes when you don't do that, you be like, oh, let them also go and. Struggle to get the yeah. basic. That's where they're com- the so we have to work a thin line. No, no, That's no, where no, the compromise no, no, comes. No, 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 we have no, to work no, a thin no, line. No, I disagree totally. Okay, that is a matter of opinion. Yes. Mm-hmm. The reason I'm choosing a Catholic model is that there's when when they give them those um, um, comf- comforts or those basics, there's a way they don't now want to preach to get an envelope or impress somebody before yeah, somebody no, but the question is uh-huh. how the question is what that. did they go through to get to that stage where they are giving those things if you trace a Catholic priest mm-hmm. right from when he starts at the what do you call them the seminary mm-hmm. trust me guy <laughs> they deserve everything that they are getting so uh, right I'm from not saying they don't. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm saying that the training that they get uh-huh. from the onset by the time they get there they, they would have saved and gutting out the the the, the wheat. Say, the wheat, thank you very the much. Club so, owners. Yes, so th- <laughs> <laughs> the club owners. So yeah. those who make it to that side mm. understand why they are there. Mm. Okay. They are appreciated. That is why it appears as though they've got it right. Do you understand? That's what I'm saying. Let's use that because model. If because it, if that has a filter, it will not work. if that's a system that has a filter, let's let's imbibe it because it looks like it the other work. the non Catholic uh, ones. I, I think that the, the, the funding under the Catholic Church is quite huge. Beyond as the funding, to other, who do you forget other the churches? funding? No, forget the funding. But for it, matters. You to even, it matters. Yes, for you to even qualify, but I'm about your basis. family, maybe your family mm-hmm. has to be. So it's like um, it's us. It's an institution. Mm-hmm. You have to have must have imbibed them from the chi- the time that you were born, gone through all the processes before you can even qualify to go. So into are you the saying seminary. you can't be called after you are old? But, but no. W- w- so w- w- I'm, saying, I'm saying I'm that coming, at the I'm end coming. of the day, the w- w- what's the, the point? Phase, what's the, right? so what's the point of this? By the end of the day, uh, I all I'm saying is, let me let me uh-huh, defend but I believe that I just wanted to clarify. I believe strongly that when we do that comparison, it loses a bit of consideration. Let me say this because. The Pentecost Church, for instance, they they have built mission houses Everywhere where if go. somebody is serving in a particular district, yes. no matter they how left far away, it but is. it might not be the same for other churches. Yeah. Okay, so what people call one man churches in Ghana, for instance, mm-hmm. not all of them have houses for junior pastors. So they must who see are seven. That. So they shouldn't. They, they, it, it, it might put a, a very uh, huge... What, what, what's the point of this? The, uh-huh. the I brought that. that expl- I'm saying that we when, when we provide certain the basics, basics for them, for then they have God, time for God. They are not preach in a way or they are not no, compromised. They, they want an envelope before they can say the truth. Before they can say the truth. That's what he was now. Saying. So if you have pro- <laughs> if we have an issue with one man church, then that means that what you said is the case. You are right that there are too many proliferations for us not to even have a fund that is galvanized enough to to that oh you are a man of God you we are giving you your basis so that you have to like say the truth for example in politics when you are the national director or in a political party they make sure you are comfortable enough extent, so yeah. that you, so that the other opposition don't compromise you uh-huh. but in Christianity we don't have but, a, but, but you see the reason I'll even stop you there is that uh, the reason I'll stop him is that there are so many. Pre- spiritual leaders today <laughs> who are very well to do mm-hmm. and yet 
they are not willing to speak so, to the powers. So, 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 so I don't, so I don't think the issue is about was, the comfort that people are enjoying. Those are club owners. I was going to say, uh, which prophet was it? That was well, the one that uh, Jezebel chased out, and then he had to Elijah, go, and then the crows had to feed him, Elijah, and all of those yeah, things. Yeah. You see, when he when he was addressing Jezebel, right? I think he didn't and he didn't anticipate her reaction yeah. so much so that when she did react and she uttered those words, the man of God, a man of God, mm -hmm. bless money, who was called by God, had to escape into yes. the wilderness. And what happened there? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. well, God made provision mm -hmm. for him to be taken mm -hmm. care of. There were more. Thank you very much. So, th so this is the thing. But you see, mm -hmm. we don't have those to prophets. It's good you brought those <laughs> prophets who had not bowed the knee to bow. Mm -hmm. He says seven thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How come we never heard them speak? So those prophets were there. But and they were righteous prophets, mm. and yet it so was ginger, only Elijah. It was only Elijah whose what? voice we heard. So ginger <laughs> mentioned timing. Mm -hmm. Timing is key. Uh, so could it be that the, the so-called club owners that mm -hmm. KB is but talking yes. about, Apostle they are just Omey. waiting. They are just waiting for the right time. That's Apostle, why they are very Apostle, 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 But the nation Apostle. has been quiet for a very That's long time. No, wait, <laughs> I, I, I even want to say something. Well, I, I understand. I, I even okay. want to say something. something. You see, when we talk about people speaking. You don't just up and speak if you are a man of God. Mm -hmm. You have to embody it. Yes. You see, because yes. the Bible says he will give you utterance. And Preach. once he does that, ha. no matter what you say, mm -hmm. you You'll are protected. Audience. Yes. yes. Honestly. So John the Baptist was not protected. No, John, no, he <laughs> was. He, he, was, died. he, he, was, he, he was, was destined to die. Was some people are destined to die. I believe he died. Some people are destined to die. He might even know his end, but he didn't care. Which means that he wasn't for and himself. He had fulfilled his okay. purpose. He and had baptized all. Jesus and if cleared you watch the way. Luther, so he was by himself. <laughs> he was watched Martin Luther and Malcolm X. It's almost as if they knew what they were doing. They were yes. going to that, but they pursued. That's it. it, is it. it. So, somebody, somebody said so. Juliet Foriwa for Facebook says, "I don't agree by conversation. Church leaders don't have the mandate to govern the country. Mm -hmm. They can only contribute to a point. Those who are mandated to run the state of affairs must mm -hmm. set up." The church is doing their best. That's what mm. this person thinks. Which leads me to my next question. They are not mandated. Is, that's she's, what the person yeah, thinks. She's right. Okay. She is not. To she govern. Right, but uh -huh. not in, it's in a and certain time. Who, no, who yes, stopped yes. you from governing? Can't you, can't you stand on a ticket and then because become Because there is politics. Oh, yeah, 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 you can. So, so, oh, you so, can. So, so, which yeah, which can. was going to be my it's next wrong. point because okay. I want to find out. Oh, they can. So, in the interest of peace, which you've talked about, peace, progress, etc. of the nation, let's pick a church like maybe the Perez Dome. Because I know that the ad, I know that the Archbishop. We are coming home. We have to come. It is a fact. It is a. Tell the listeners we are coming home. It is a fact that the Archbishop has been very vocal, vo vocal about mm -hmm. national issues, and even you know, um, I think when one of the elections, uh, Kufu and uh, I think it was Kufu and was Rollins? it Kufu, Rollins? Kufu and Rollins. no Kufu and. Atamils, one of them. I think Kufu and Atamils, that election, 2008. Mm. The 2008 no, election. It has to be 2004. Nice. Two, two, no, 2008. It was Nanado and Atamils. Yes, Nanado. The president yes. Nanado, <laughs> <laughs> our sitting president. <laughs> our sitting president. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes. the Archbishop was very vocal mm -hmm. and it helped with the peace of the country. He's Beautiful. been vocal since, mm. you know, but then. In the interest of peace, like we're discussing, if his congregation thinks that, okay, a, a year like 2024, 2024 is an election year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has been speaking for many years. Mm -hmm. If he speaks in 2024, mm -hmm. people would think that it's because he has an interest in a, Let a, them pa think. a particular political party. Mm -hmm. Don't you think we'll come back to square, is it square one? Yeah, square one. We'll come back to square one if we are saying on the one hand we want peace we want to promote peace and on the other hand this speaking up may lead to division in his church which may lead to division in the country Absolutely. of course he Lucy, has experienced Lucy, that Lucy, you Lucy, see Lucy, no, i just Lucy want to touch on it because we are coming home and i have had the opportunity <laughs> oh, God. yeah i want to, to, to me i'm coming home <laughs> you know i've had the opportunity to work alongside with the archbishop i think from the COVID era we work very closely and I got a chance to hear certain things <laughs> from the pulpit. And that was the time he was the only person speaking in matters related to Christianity and how people were saying, oh, now the churches are suffering. People are not going to church anymore. I'm talking about the COVID era. Mm -hmm. Now, he used that time to address some of these issues that were raised by, you know, the fanatics, the political, the underdogs, and what have you. 
there was a thing that the whole church did. Mm -hmm. He preached a message one day because you talked about death mm -hmm. and what some people are afraid. He preached the message to the point that before the day ended, there was a trending message on all social media. Is there not a cause? Mm -hmm. That was a sermon that day. Mm -hmm. And at that, at that time, even me, not a lot of people were in the auditorium because it was just the social media team. Mm -hmm. I was focusing on social media. We were even afraid. <laughs> Some of the things <laughs> that he was saying, at a point, even you as the congregant, you're like, hey, Charlie, slow down small like <laughs> yeah. you know some of us are here you get me mm -hmm. but you were scared but he didn't because he mm -hmm. knew he knew he ah, didn't he, mm -hmm. he kept from. saying what he wanted mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. because he said see whenever this i am for peace mm -hmm. there's something he says all yeah. the time yeah. but anytime war. i speak yeah. i am for war yeah. it's not Bible. yes why is he doing this mm -hmm. now i mean why to what end doesn't he also have things to lose? Mm -hmm. He has a lot to lose. But when the conviction is there, and God gave when the conviction chance. is there, mm -hmm. Apostle, sometimes we make it look like, like Kibi was saying, we are, we, are, we are inching to a place where it will now become fashionable to own a church. It has become. Yes, we are like, saying. oh, I own a church. No, but that, that title, that position, being a general overseer, being a founder, comes with a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And you, your voice alone in that space. There are people who, I am sure there are people who probably have fallen out in the church mm -hmm. because they hold different opinions from what the Archbishop holds. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But in principle, what has he said that has not benefited the nation? Mm -hmm. That is the question we must be asking all yeah. the time. But shouldn't he also consider the, the possibility of losing his no. congregation because people may mistakenly no. tag him as... A, 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 a support of a particular political party. People have already. There are tagged. people. There are people who say they have this already is a, tagged him. Uh -huh. They tag him with a certain so political talk, party uh, all uh, the uh, time. Apostle, apostle. Uh, as for that thing, yeah, sometimes it is the reason why I would wish our spiritual leaders would speak, mm -hmm. because even within the parties, if you belong to a certain party, there are interest groups, and and you start talking talking about ill things they are doing in it. They start tagging you yeah. as a mole. So it's human nature. Yes. So, it's human so nature. that is the reason why they shouldn't fear. Purging is part that of, is, thank of you. growth. Mm. And that is what they do. They will just tag you, purge, you and grow. that is mm. it. But the thing is that, is what you are talking about the truth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it an obvious thing that yeah. almost everybody can relate to? Mm -hmm. If it is, please. Okay. If, it about and, 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 and how, Even if it's not and you are convicted, go ahead and, and say And it. How, how can church people or how can the congregation also support um, spiritual leaders in such causes. We should renew our thinking. We should renew our <laughs> mind. Unfortunately for me, I don't believe that the church uh, members will do much. Because me, I've already shared my opinion with you. I think that the loyalty for some church members is highly to politicians than pastors. And uh, basically because everybody's looking for bread. It's, it's about the survival instincts. Mm -hmm. How do I survive? The pastor will preach his message, but will he give me money? Mm. But the MP the mce the dc if i do what he asks me to do he might place me somewhere in the securities um might. agencies or might might, might. Mm -hmm. but the possibility too is high ah. but people think that oh for pastor he won't give me anything mm -hmm. you're one year for two mm -hmm. you know <laughs> yeah, yes yeah. now pastor he doesn't, pay, he doesn't pay he doesn't pay he doesn't pay anything mm -hmm. so there are people who would go out there they would uh, i was telling you there are there are church members who spend the nights in communities villages to do campaign for politicians because they know that that nekakradi nesabe but it's also a citizen's duty yes so to that's democracy so that one too i don't want it to look like if you're a christian you can also campaign for a party oh no 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 no, no not aha. that i'm saying that the support they would allegiance. get mm -hmm. the allegiance the level of loyalty mm -hmm. so a man of god has used this platform mm -hmm. to get people to rally behind him Believe let's share. stand uh -huh, let's Believe stand for what is right? Is there not a cause to speak about these ill yeah. practices in the nation? Yeah. There is someone in the auditorium who gets their food from a politician. Mm -hmm. And you really think that they will rise up and follow you? That's the argument we are making. Because at the end of the day, that person is also weighing, ah, I mean, they do it if they I see me. Exactly. The issue has you know, been with consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you are saying somebody will be afraid to be tagged, mm -hmm. I have a problem with pa some pastors they talk they, and they stop. 
it, yes, it's like when this one is in power, then he's mm-hmm. going to If this, that is where the problem the comes thing. in. As soon saying. as people see, I know two of them, polar like some polar bear, but they are, they are pro pro yeah, this they color. Their is bipolar. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they yeah, yeah, some, <laughs> some bipolar anointing. Bipolar anointing. Hold It's like when this one. <laughs> Kevin. That cannot be the only speed. The only speed. Bipolar. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's, that cannot be the only speed. Uh-huh. That can no, be your emotion. And, and as a person, you are a citizen. Uh-huh. So be careful that your 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 democratic <laughs> rights mm. doesn't <laughs> it's, it's, doesn't super impose on the drop. divine. Uh-huh. Because as a pastor, you are dedicated to, like you are the baby someone. Was it someone like? Oh, they watch us. No, so, the divine didn't call him, so he can't be just the divine. Mm-hmm. You see, so you one, see, so strong argument, foundation, strong argument, no, consistent, consistent. But there are some prophets that they are always prophesying a certain party to win and, all and, the time and, and, for and the past apostle, twenty years, and it can be him. God. I'm sorry, I agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> when, let no. us say that if you are tagged, let's say for instance, NPP is in power, NPP is doing all the wrong things, uh-huh. and then you come out saying all, all the, the nice wrong things that MPP is doing, and MPP goes out of power, uh-huh. and. And that because MPP was, you are talking against uh-huh. MPP, you'll be tagged NDC. Yes. Fine. Uh-huh. Then NDC comes. Come. When NDC is doing all the wrong things, yes. talk about it. Uh-huh. The, the littlest that comes yes. up, don't sit aloof. Yes. Mm-hmm. Don't go silent. Mm-hmm. Talk about it. It is that is when you are consistent in your then speaking we can say that you are not about here. wrongs. They won't tag because you. it wouldn't end in eight years. Mm-hmm. Yes. Probably it will end in the next. 10, 12 years, yeah. when another party has come, that mm-hmm. is when we will know whether you were speaking for your pockets yes. or you were genuinely exactly. speaking for the interests of the Because the word of, of God is perpetual. The word of God is everlasting. You see, but but that if, is not what if we you, see. your, 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 your the unction is only every <laughs> four years. <laughs> then that one. Yeah. <laughs> so we are supposed to hear T in twenty <laughs> years time, <laughs> thirty years time until years, he goes to his maker. Then we can say our prophet will do the salute <laughs> yes. because the people of the past, Paul was T T T Herod, Constantine. Ah, uh, he was mad. So I'm using T not to take on the prophet. I'm saying that that that's. Uh, it has to be consistent. Uh, otherwise, yes, then so if, if we are coming home, mm-hmm. if in the home camp, we are not getting consistent. That one, if people are tagging Papa Demi, I can't say something for him <laughs> because you know, I can't be a hypocrite. Yeah. But if, yeah. if yeah. the if the yeah. thing is consistent, because ah, this man they are from yeah. way back. That mm-hmm. has been his way, mm-hmm. and that is it. So loyalty and that also is, when, is based on that is when you won't go and your name will not be mentioned. Yes, because it has been continuous. It will be mentioned in the right cycle. No, even exactly. if bec- and it has been continuous. Yes. Yeah. There was yeah. no break, and yeah. you see. Even the people that were against you will even testify. That is how God has to his face. But they'll still testify. Okay. So send us your comments. Let's know what you think about this discussion. We are discussing spiritual leaders in national development. What role do spiritual leaders play in national development? Um, Should spiritual leaders take the risk? Should they risk their lives to speak to certain national issues when (laughs) when they find them there? Uh, the, 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 The... it looks like the consensus is that <laughs> spiritual leaders should risk their lives yes. because that was the call of Christ. I hope church members are also willing to risk their lives they for must. the sake of the truth. For some people, their parents are not spiritual leaders, so it's easy for them to I say. <laughs> uh-huh. it's, it's very easy yeah, for them to I say. Was, yes. I was coming to the fact, you know you asked the question about but, how but, we can support But just them. before you come in, so, sure, so 0203 We have some comments here. And then, uh, so let's hear from you. We are going to open the phone lines right now. Okay, okay. so call us right now. The number is 0207-10001. 0207-10001. Okay, let's hear Yeah, you. I was going to say that, you know, you asked a question about how the congregants or the can followers support. can support. Mm-hmm. We need to embody that which our leader is embodying mm-hmm. if he's on the right path. Mm-hmm. You see, he can only go so far. Mm. But we also need to be in line with him. You see, he can't be go. We can't be divergent. We can't have divergent views. He can't be here, and, and we also have to stop being fearous. Mm. You know, when <laughs> your man of God is pushing an agenda, mm. okay, <laughs> and <laughs> and if for me, I believe that if you cannot support, keep quiet. Mm-hmm. But don't. You know, we, some of us are very mucho mucho. We are very, <laughs> no, like we are very quick to okay. fight. Fair we have yeah. our first, we have our first call on the line. Okay, okay. okay. Fair, fair weather. Fair weather, Ghani. Good, good afternoon. 
Yeah, I'm also. Yes, sir. Your name and where you're calling from, please. Wow. Mama can be cheating, I'm in your free. Yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm <laughs> Vatoya. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vatoya, <laughs> first thing. Because your friend is Peter, because he's the girl. Okay, Vatoya, you're in tune. Oh. I can't see your father. See your father, no. We move here. The way you give me to say, I'm done. What is this? I call you, or if I want to get you to buy a new home, or for money now. Ubuhuna, Peter Father, do you be a cofano? My name is Gumti, or Titi, no, I know them papa, or Yassi, the one with her. At the same panel, as I say, you do movie. Now, yet far, a new dream of one, the Nani Pabi Brini. A year, sir, of Papa, and it will be a year, Peter Father. What you know, that what you know, we are what you know, more bear was as soon as. Papa and Casa Oak are no noon. And who who may jay and it will be a so would be a team of all the brave. The tea, Madame of Superbre, new shop program, I feel movie as here, Debia, museum program. Yadassi, Yadassi, Madame Superbre, Yamisha. Amen, Amen. Now, Pacho, Mr. Brabita. Papa, in tea, uh, Obechera, you have a, um, Send your spiritual leaders at the time. I'm a boy, a memo, and your man, your man. I'm a whole kind of spiritual leader. So, Bibi Biala, you know, who and who you are saying, 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 Young Gana, no, ye need any penny be way politician. The pay for in our career leaders now, um, was any video, no, so no, I won't was a two mina, almost a home, which is our papa, okay, let me make the papa example. I love this man from A to Z. Couldn't need it. Make call that is Bimu, that was two thousand seven. It is this only man, not Kafa, with the whole world. Hey. And the Papa, we are in the middle of the example. The account, I remember, I announced that Fapimbia. Any part we know, we are in the middle of the Fapimbia. Amen. All right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. Let me show you. Okay. So he says we need more spiritual leaders like. Uh, Archbishop Charles Ajina, sorry. Mm. Yeah. You said those who have the spirit and the workings. Mm. So you see, mm. a lot of people are doing the workings mm -hmm. without the spirit. Mm. All right? Yeah. Because yeah. honestly, the if workings. the spirit of God is in you, and regardless of who you are, yeah. if you are a politician, you, you have a faith, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that you subscribe to. Mm -hmm. If you're a Christian and you find yourself in office and because of party pressure, mm -hmm. you need to steal, you need to be corrupt, you need to compromise, mm -hmm then it means that you you only choose to play what favors you. Mm -hmm. So you come to church, you can be a Christian. You go to the office, you're a party person. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to mix <laughs> yeah. it up. You know, that. because you mentioned that the pastors focus on building the congregants mm -hmm. so that we can have the citizens doing the right things. Mm -hmm. But now, the messages alone that are coming lately, mm -hmm. some are not even teaching anymore. Mm -hmm. Some men of God are not teaching anymore. Everything is about prosperity. prophesying and, you know, being prosperity prosperous. And mm -hmm. Prosperity has a place in Christianity. Yeah. It does. And it matters greatly. Very but nice. then, Very. the teaching of the person to actually build the fruit. And I always use this as, as an yeah. example. There's a caller. So. All right, let's take okay. the caller. So don't lose, the, yeah. don't lose your thought. All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. My name is Richard. Okay, Richard. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Aflao. Okay, Afla Richard from Aflao. Talk to us. Okay. Um, I I want to use this opportunity to, I may speak on your program. Uh, the topic I want to speak about is the the role of the spiritual leaders or how they contribute to the national development. Mm -hmm. You 
know, when when you look at First Kings chapter seventeen, mm-hmm. uh, before Elijah went to Arab and spoke to Arab, you see, mm-hmm. if you know where you are speaking from, mm-hmm. and you are a genuine person, and what you are saying is correct, is being backed by the Spirit of God. I don't see the reason why you should fear. Because after Elijah spoke to the king that there will not be any rain, I think God quickly uh, uh, told him to leave. And where he went to, God quickly made a provision to take care of him. So what I want to say is that our spiritual leaders shouldn't fear. Because Bible let us know we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, mm-hmm. but we are re- wrestling against the principality. Mm-hmm. So we should speak power and with authority, mm-hmm. but rather not to, uh, I mean, to speak like uh, we, we are fear. No, <laughs> we should speak with authority because it is about something that is wrong. That is why Elijah had to come out boldly and speak and elijah before he spoke to the king he said that by my god in whom i stand yeah. Maybe he doesn't fear at that time mm. he know where he is coming from mm-hmm. so no matter what happens he knows that there is nothing can happen or a king cannot do anything to him, to him, to him. so he speaks so i want to appeal to the our spiritual leaders that mm. we christians we speak authority we don't speak based on our emotions mm. because we know who we belong to. Okay. So I want to say that if we want to contribute or make any contribution towards the national development, we should first of all check ourselves. Mm. And if you check yourself and you know that your Christian life is not balanced, then it means you don't have that authority to speak. Mm. But if you check yourself and you know that you are at the right place, uh, uh, right place mm. then you can speak. Okay. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Mr. Richard. So, wow. check yourself as a spiritual wow. leader. You must make sure you have the moral locus hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to be able to speak. Apostle, yeah. with that one, I want to understand. Is it that you have to be perfect before you speak no. truth? Because it looks no. as if when you want to speak to power, then someone will ah, you cry, but I know that this is... It. So when does somebody qualify to speak to power? When, there's, when, when God asks you to go. When God <laughs> Even if you have, we have another stuff color. that is not morally... <laughs> yeah, have another color. David. Good afternoon. Uh-huh. Good, Hello, afternoon. good afternoon. Yes, your name and where you're calling from, please. Yeah, uh, your name is Solomon. I can say from the Western region. Oh, okay. Solomon. Solomon from the Western region. Patrick Kassani, you too. Oh, okay. I'm going to say that spiritual leaders na amuti amuti
So in English, let me just say it in English oh, okay, for sorry. those who so he was saying that our spiritual leaders must be able to speak the truth mm-hmm. and he said what again? At oh, all uh, times. Yes, at <laughs> all speak times. The truth at all times. They shouldn't times. just like I think Lucy was saying, they, no, uh, KB uh, was saying that uh, they should be consistent. It shouldn't yeah. be just when one political party is in mm-hmm. power mm-hmm. that they can speak. They should speak at all times. Mm-hmm. All right. I think uh, somebody was making a I was uh, making a question. He has a, he has a question about question. moral. Okay. People are saying that. But, but, but I think in the words of Jesus, uh-huh. make sure you take out the speck from, from you take out the log from your eye before you, you take, take out, out the speck, speck from somebody else's eye. Say, so, say, always say, yeah, yeah, so, so, so if you are not morally. <laughs> if, if Life is always. There's, I live in a place. I always saw that. So I think that the point is that, you know, you must have you must ah, have a certain. No, no, you must have And we shouldn't compromise on that. Yeah, in my initial that. initial um, submission, I did say that mm-hmm. before you step out mm-hmm. to Take condemn yourself. that which you feel is wrong, mm-hmm. you need to come from a place where, when you speak, people will listen. Yes. How do you do that? Okay. And she, you see, Jesus didn't come to take the perfect. Do you understand? He came to perfect that which our infirmities, and that's what he came to do. So you need to understand. One, this is the thing is, I always say that the source, what is your source? Where do you derive your power or your utterance? Which is true. Mm-hmm. And he will set up the place in such a way that when you speak, no matter how volatile or how antagonistic the people are, trust me, you will get audience and your message will go across. Mm-hmm. So you do not have to be perfect. You only have to come from the right source at the right time and have the right message. Okay. Nine and yes. Okay. So th- this is to say that mm-hmm. you realize that there are some pastors who make all trances about the nation's state and other people have receipts about them mm-hmm. that <laughs> you don't have the you don't even have the high no, ground mm-hmm. to come and speak That's about. So yes. that that is what um Ginger is trying to say that then if nobody can speak uh-huh. at them. No, there so are a lot of people no because okay. you see uh-huh. I said this because I I wanted to make a point about I was writing a few mm-hmm. things out. There, w- there was an issue where the Archbishop was talking about a particular Archbishop government. Ajina Sari <laughs> was talking about a particular <laughs> government. And after he was done, a lot of people said he was a board member of a particular microfinance. And he contributed to ABCD. Mm-hmm. And that he doesn't have the, the right to then. speak about this. He came out in one service. He enumerated all the boards he has served on, Mm. mentioned that microfinance, stated the date he resigned from that particular board, and mentioned why he left the board on this particular date. So the subsequent things that happened, he wasn't there. That is establishing your integrity. And he has always said that if anyone has anything damaging on his person, they should bring it up. And nobody has been able to do that. So in the, in the spirit of what Ginger is discussing, when someone is speaking, are you being motivated by someone who has sent you? Are you being motivated by a, an envelope? Are you being motivated stomach. by your party affiliation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're a man of God and the consistency you mentioned yeah. should happen, we shouldn't see you taking a particular side this time around. Thank you're you speaking love. this way. Yeah. Let me ask a question. People say that um, they need to hear a voice. They need to speak at a particular time. And when the issue of the LGBTQ came up, why is it that all pastors were speaking? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is it that at that time, Every all, it, it was part of national development. Traditionalists, Muslims, <laughs> everyone everybody. was speaking because they felt like it was going to hit the moral fiber of the nation. And so they wouldn't tolerate that. The same way, if we move away from the moral fiber, we should also look at the well-being, the policies, economics. the structures, economics. Mm. All these things also why matter. Is it not the case? As well as the values. Why is it not the case? That, that is the question we are all mm. asking ourselves you, today. You, know, you, know. you get it. Because it's something, mm. yes. it's a strength mm. we, we can and harness for other... Yeah, precisely. Other because strength how strength they were all one. bold, yeah. confident, yeah. they stood at the yeah. gates of the and nation. we should be harnessed. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah. Because yeah. if we are even looking at the life of mm. Joseph, that embodied the Christian leadership, mm-hmm. where he was. Not just having the dream. The dream was not enough. Mm-hmm. He had to work. Mm-hmm. He had to instruct Overcome. people, yes, mm-hmm. 
to you know save and store food mm -hmm. and that was action mm -hmm. it's not just talking yes mm -hmm. you you understand me so when we say that oh look at joseph's leadership joseph was this joseph was that but you are not even doing half of what joseph did mm -hmm. you understand and me? when yes. temptation came what did joseph do uh, yes. he ran okay. he ran yeah. so you can call us let's know what you think zero two zero seven ten thousand one zero two zero seven ten thousand one if you want to send us your comments, you can do so on our WhatsApp line 0203-438-710. 0203-438-710. Um, but for those who say that the spiritual leaders can, they can be speaking but not in public because maybe they occupy positions of, maybe they are spiritual advisor or they are spiritual guide. So... I mean, we may sit back and think that, oh, these guys are bipolar. They have bipolar <laughs> anointing. But in actual fact, yeah, on the ground, the they're actually people. doing what they're supposed to do. What, what do you say to that? I well, think it's okay. But, but uh, Apostle... So, uh, it's not, so it's not just it's not just speaking out in public. No, but Apostle, there there is, it doesn't, it doesn't there end there. Verbal and there is, verbal uh, communication it's, even. Uh, even the verbal and non-verbal. We are supposed, like mm -hmm. I said, the Bible says we should rebuke. Mm -hmm. And it comes in different forms. Like you yeah. said, you can call the individual person and talk mm -hmm. to him. And... KB said, the hallmark is Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lord. Amen. Yeah. Now, in our daily life, mm -hmm. whenever we are doing things wrong, God questions us individually mm -hmm. by okay. ourselves. Uh -huh. But once we repeat, mm -hmm. wakacha, wakacha, mm -hmm. several uh, you don't, uh -huh. then boom, uh, something right. happens. Okay. We have a caller on the line. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Your, your name and where you're calling from, please. Please, I'm Jubilee calling from Takwa. Okay, J Judith from Takwa, please turn off the volume of your TV and, and listen to us from your phone, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, concerning what you are talking about, mm -hmm. <laughs> Ghana, you can't encourage any spiritual leader to like, get him or herself involved in politics and speaking of, they will corrupt you. <laughs> and if you don't take care, your integrity too will be undermined. Mm. So, in, in my own personal perspective, I don't think virtually, maybe if, like what you are saying, if they will say something, then it should be behind, not like like the LGBTQ. That one concerns morality. So, that one is cut across all religions. But when it comes to other aspects, it will affect them. Especially with the Christian religion, I don't advise that our leaders should get involved with those politicians. Mm. Okay, thank thank you very much. Is that Juliet for a while? Is that Juliet for a while? No, no, no. no. But I, I think that that's a mistake that many people make we, because we, Jesus Jesus seemed to have an, a very serious and keen interest in. Uh, 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 in practical life. So Apostle. when Apostle. you look at his parables, mm -hmm. the parable of the Good Samaritan, it's like the whole thing about loving God and loving your neighbor, neighbor. this was paramount to him. It's key. But it's like now there's this dichotomy between between what is spiritual in the sense of uh, what is spiritual or moral, like mm -hmm. the LGBT yes. issue, and then and the they have other ones the other one which, so, which is so more, mothers, which mothers is very are, practical. Mothers are dying at the Apostle. hospital. And we are saying because it's not a practical. We can never tell our spiritual leaders to isolate themselves. It can never happen. Mm -hmm. Even in the Bible times, it wasn't like that. Jesus Governors, the, temple the, the prophets actually helped the leaders, mm -hmm. the kings, mm -hmm. to be able to govern well. Yes. And that is what we are supposed mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And and that is it. It mm -hmm. is non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. It comes with a lot of things. And let's not uh, forget, once you are speaking at something, yes. it goes against the person that instituted it. The person will hit back at you. Mm -hmm. With a full force. So you should be ready to. So Ev every be. truth offends someone. Mm. Yeah. Every truth offends someone. That is where someone. she came that when God sends you, he will give you utterance. Mm. When God sent Moses, Moses had a litany of excuses. But what did God do? He counted each and every one of them. So much so that Moses was able to go and liberate mm. the Israelites. Mm. So mm. when God sends so. you, <laughs> when God sends you, he will give you the playbook. He will give you a manual. But like the, the lady was saying, maybe God can't send you in Ghana. In Ghana, they no, <laughs> see, most of them are Jonas. God is sending them. They are not going. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, so in the drove. dispensation where MLK stood for the black liberation in America, in that particular dispensation, he knew that he was going to die. Yeah. Like KB said, Malcolm X, before his last address, 
told his wife that he doesn't feel right. Yeah. He could feel it on the D day that he yeah. died. He said, See, I don't know, but yeah. today feels very different. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes it is just God saying, You have done your work. Yeah. Mm. Come Today, on. no one talks about the liberation of the black people in America without mentioning Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X because they have done their part. Mm. So we shouldn't say, oh, there are certain topics you can <laughs> say. There are no, certain topics choose. don't no. say. You, you know, and and choose, when it happens like that we see, mothers are dying. Mm -hmm. People are losing their babies, like um, mm -hmm. um, Lucy was saying, in the hospitals, a hospital that doesn't have a generator. Mm. Pe some, someone gave There's birth. No and S and, and pregnant women are giving birth on the mm. ground. Mm. Ground. Mm. How do we just say that, okay, as for this one, there is not church thing. And it will because be your church thing it, it because doesn't. once the parents die, the children will become your responsibility. Mm -hmm. yes. And now you have and to And the church must pay mm -hmm. for welfare. Mm -hmm. it comes back and to contribute at the funeral. We and we won't talk about it. A, a bus and go to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk and, about and it. And even if we get a we lot of things right, pastors don't need to no, pray about every disease. Like America. Malaria and things like topics. <laughs> no, yes, yeah. because malaria like this, yes. good uh, good hygiene, yes. a good environment common will sense. take away malaria. <laughs> ah, common and sense. common sense. So in other words, if pastors or spiritual leaders spoke out, mm -hmm. certain things that are prayer topics would not be prayer it would not be. No, if okay. they spoke out correctly and on the right place, let's not forget, so don't just go off and start speaking. Okay. You speak from the place of God has sent Moses, you. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you are not Moses, right. please stay aside. All right. I'll read a few comments from Zevin and then you take okay. the rest. Esther Nyako says, Good afternoon. Please, if we are waiting for our spiritual leaders to be holy before they qualify to point out certain mm -hmm. wrong things in the country for a positive change, mm -hmm. then we will not have any. <laughs> but that's a shame because we should we should have people who are people oh, but everybody has an Achilles heel. Oh, so. no, sir. But what you should says, be, once you have, you mm -hmm. should still be able to... What wrong is wrong? Mm -hmm. You're going to pull that far. Because there would... Haven't, have they not been pulling wrong from files? from scriptural standards? It says the man of God should be blameless. I know, yes, mm -hmm. that's, I, uh -huh. I think we shouldn't compromise on that. He says, then we should bear in mind that no single human being has a right to point out wrong things if there are any, let alone contribute to its solution. I made this remark due to the comments from Ginger. Okay, hello, dear friends. Your views of the truth of the gospel, Christian ministry, and church approach to impacting lives and nations are sound and inspiring. I love to follow this program. I'm Reverend Caleb. Ezekiel, this is from Yola Adamawa State, Nigeria. Mm. I'm watching you live and my wife has joined me. The dimension of the social relevance of the church as Christiani in Christianity is made clear in Matthew 5, 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth. Uh, you are the light of the world. Do, uh, people don't light a candle and put it under a bushel. Mm. Let your light shine. Okay, come seven, please. Niadi from Facebook says that Africa lacks lovely leadership, lovely. compassionate character. Mm. and futuristic foresight. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I will. I am strong. Okay. Now, Juliet Forewa, uh, I think that was mentioned. Yeah. I don't agree because of the conversation. Mm -hmm. And one um, Esther from Mankasim says, I also believe that spiritual leaders have been called by God for a certain purpose. Mm -hmm. They can only contribute to the nation's development, but are we ready to change? We yeah. rain insults on them whenever they open their it mouth to talk. Happen. Thank God for the few spiritual leaders who talk, like Archbishop Ajinasari, Pastor Otabel, Reverend Eastwood, Prophet Udro, Bishop Dag, and the rest. They still talk when necessary. <laughs> Note this. Our leaders are, and all of us have to be humble enough to listen to them and be ready to change for the better. Now, Emmanuel says, good afternoon, Apostle. I'm really enjoying your discussion today. Spiritual leaders can never be taken out of the development of a nation or a country because... They also live in that country. Remember, Bible says we should seek the prosperity of our country because in it will come our peace. Mm -hmm. So they really must be involved in the development of the nation. David was a king. But remember, it was a prophet who went to instruct oh, him yes. when David slept with someone's yeah, wife. So. I am Emmanuel. He <laughs> 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 said, why are spiritual leaders supposed to pray for the nation but are not allowed to contribute to national <laughs> development? <laughs> this, this is a question. question. And there's a perfect way <laughs> to end imagine? the show today. Well, <laughs> like they can come to Independence Square and pray. But <laughs> <laughs> we can't criticize we can't them. Criticize. Like we can have all nights and then we are Oh, not it's not done. Oh, okay, yeah. that's just about mm. it. Hmm. But, but but that's a key that's a key point too yeah. because yeah so apart beyond speaking out in public giving spiritual guidance the role of spiritual leaders in praying and leading mm -hmm. the nation to pray for the nation i think that's also very important and we shouldn't neglect that i think yesterday you were telling me about you know, some spiritual leaders that have 
such influence that they can yes. mobilize oh, of people course, for because prayer. if let's say um at one night you have about even 20,000 people 60,000 people listening to you that's not just um the issue look at uh, bishop dag mm-hmm. bishop dag holds um, his good, good friday, friday right? services yeah. and you see the the number of the multitude of people oh. how is it that they don't do that magnificent of an advert but they are able to get um, people, g- get to people. it means that they have a very structured communication channel mm-hmm. that the message gets to almost every person mm-hmm. in every nook and cranny mm-hmm. and putting that aside we have the likes of pastor menso table as well mm-hmm. very large church Great they are celebrating works. their 40 years mm-hmm. i think lucy is here mm-hmm. <laughs> and <We are> uh, <laughs> you are done are so you know the influence that comes with it and if you look at today's world what is it that is making the money influences yeah. so if these men of god have this kind of influence there is not a thing they can say to their members Mm -hmm. that they wouldn't do Mm. if they say for communal labor purposes Mm. today let's go out Mm. let's desilt gutters yeah they will come in their numbers they would come in their numbers in droves (laughs) to make sure that is done okay that's that's how come i was arguing that in as much as the influ the influence is there who is the church member the goat or the sheep loyal to okay i think we have to bring the program to an end thank you so much for joining us on to be frank we were discussing spiritual leaders in national development Mm -hmm. um if you missed this episode you can go back and watch it on our youtube channel the name is precious tv official you can watch it also on our facebook page uh, and give your views there you can send your comments still to us on our WhatsApp platform 0203438710. This afternoon has been good having you join us. Thank you, KB the MC. Yes, Thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Ginger and Smart the Observing Journalist. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. God bless you and see you same time next week on To Be Frank. Have a nice day. Bye bye.